away from that, born to a trader and a farmer in a small community near Aquitia in the eastern region, 30-year-old Dr. Alice Amegan has emerged as a global skills development specialist and advocate with a strong determination to give back to her community, country, and the world. Her NGO, Education and Aspirations Hub, recently returned to her home region to introduce 500 girls to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, technical vocational education training, STEM TVET, with plans to reach more individuals in the days ahead. Max Solakbagba has more. A ceremony at the respected University of Cambridge as Dr. Alice Amaga received her doctorate degree after her PhD studies. Alice Amiga. From humble beginnings to what many describe as the pinnacle of education. Alice Amega, a proactive and determined young Ghanaian who believes in the power of education. In this video, a young Alice Amega shares her passion for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, technical, vocational education training, STEM, TVET. Before Dr. age 30, Amega, she worked on I youth career me. guidance, youth counseling, and skills development yeah, with national regional yeah, and international organizations yeah. such as the Commission for TVET, I the World Bank Group, UNESCO, and more. And In this interview, she talked about her humble beginnings how education helped her to attain her dreams and I myself coming from a background that is largely from rural context in eastern region um, a community called Boedria very close to Akutia but Akutia Boedria Boedria yes Boedria and so in honor of my own journey as a young woman coming from being first generation um, university graduates um, going on to University of Oxford to do my um, master's degree in comparative and international education okay. and then going to University of Cambridge to do my PhD in education. I decided to specialize in education. It is quarter past nine and 500 girls drawn from various senior high schools have gathered for the STEM TVET Awareness Day organized by Dr. Lisa Begues NGO Education and Inspirations Hub. The event aims to inspire girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, mathematics and technical vocational education training STEM TVET. There's also a practical session to introduce them to the field. As the event unfolds, various speakers take the stage to emphasize the importance of STEM TV for girls. Director of Program Safia Gbenyo encouraged the students to consider STEM TV as a viable career option, highlighting the underrepresentation of women in these fields. We look forward to inspiring all of you that are gathered here to consider STEM TV as an option, as a career path. And this is because, for most often, the statistics tell us that there are few females in this sector. Even though there are vast opportunities there, there are few females in this sector. There's also the misconception of what TVET is about. And so it makes it difficult for a lot of young women to want to explore that as an option. You would be exposed to the various career options that are here. And I hope that you take advantage to be skilled. What was the slogan? To be skilled, to be empowered, and capable. Now you're going to be skilled. A member of parliament for Akwitia, Kenny Adombuachi, pledged his support for the project, promising to advocate for its success. Uh, looking at the numbers, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, the attendance alone indicates that uh, uh, in the near future, we are going to have uh, multiple numbers uh, as compared to the beginning of this particular program. Co-founder of the Ghana Robotics Foundation Academy, Dr. Yaokweku Yurinchi, stressed the significance of STEM TVET. When it comes to STEM and then TVET related uh, vocations, almost endless from plumbing to tiling to coding to medicine to the 
developing gadgets like cameras, mobile phones, um, glass work, microphones, speakers. I mean, all of those things. The most important thing now for you is how you focus on your subjects right now. You need that knowledge to transition into anything. CEO of the African Center for Technical Training, Penelope Brook, echoed this view, proclaiming STEM TVET as the future of work. Founder of the Practical Education Network, Hear That Beam, called on the government to collaborate with private individuals in developing STEM TVET initiatives in Ghana, emphasizing the importance of collective efforts in advancing education and training in these crucial fields. A lot of opportunity in the field of coding and programming, as has just been shared. Software developer, data scientist, um, AI engineer, and of course on the mechanical side, there's so much you can do. Mechanical engineering, you can get into the TVET specific professions, plumbing, carpentry, and so on. With electrical background, you can get into electronics, if not uh, doing an electrician work as a TVET person, Rather, as an engineer, you can be building circuits, designing circuit boards, using microcontrollers like we just saw. The event served as a platform for empowerment, education and inspiration as Dr. Alisa Mega and other influential figures championed the cause of STEM TV paving the way for a brighter future for Ghanaian girls in these transformative fields.